What's up guys, I'm going to do another Call of Duty video, and today we're going to be talking about Sledgehammer Games, because there is brand new news coming out of Sledgehammer Games, and that is that the two studio heads, Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield, they have both left Sledgehammer Games. And when I first read this, I was like, are you serious? They left Sledgehammer? Like, the game that they made, World War II, has only been out? like three months and they left sledgehammer but then i read a little bit more into it and they didn't just leave sledgehammer they moved to positions at activision so they're still working on call of duty and like within you know the whole like call of duty machine but now they just work for activision directly instead of for sledgehammer so they have been with sledgehammer games since it founded in 2009 and they work together on dead space you know for ea and yeah so they are new um they have new executive duties within activision and uh activision published a statement and they said following the incredible success of call of duty world war ii glenn schofield and michael condry have decided to transition from their duties at sledgehammer games to new executive duties inside activision we thank glenn and michael for their tremendous body of work on call of duty and look forward to continuing to collaborate with them in their new rules these changes have created an opportunity to elevate one of the key leaders at the studio, Aaron Halton, to lead Sledgehammer Games. Aaron is a founding member of Sledgehammer Games and the natural fit to lead the team. He has over 20 years of industry experience and has played an instrumental role throughout the studio's history. We congratulate Aaron and are thrilled about the future of Sledgehammer Games, which we believe has even bigger days ahead. So they now have a brand new head of Sledgehammer, so no longer will it be Glenn Schofield and Michael Condry. It'll be this guy, Aaron Holland. And yeah, so this is kind of crazy that like Sledgehammer just like has a shakeup like this that like right in the middle of their game. So the game, like DLC 2 hasn't even come out on PlayStation yet, and DLC 1 hasn't even come out on Xbox yet. And. Uh, the last time any of this happened, or there was a studio change, was back during Modern Warfare 3 when Jason West and Vince Zamp Zampella, they left Infinity Ward and they went and formed Respawn and all that. But yeah, so this is just, they're now executives at Activision, which is kind of crazy. So Activision was like, yo, after the success of World War 2, we're going to promote you guys and you know, you can get a better opportunity here at Activision. So they're going to be working directly for Activision now. So this means that they'll be working more alongside like the whole Call of Duty brand than just on Sledgehammer's games, whereas before they were just working on like Advanced Warfare and World War II. Now they probably have a hand in making like Black Ops 4 and in Infinite Warfare 2 and obviously in Sledgehammer's next game. But both Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield put out a statement about it. Um, Glenn Schofield put out a statement saying, Michael and I have been collaborating for over 12 years. In that time, we've made great games that fans have loved, won awards on behalf of our projects, and have lived our dreams. We thank Activision for the wonderful opportunity to create and lead Sledgehammer Games. Now it's time to try other things. Activision has offered me the opportunity to focus my energy on something I'm very passionate about, exploring new game ideas for the company. It's something I just couldn't pass up. Working with such a great studio of developers at Sledgehammer Games has been an honor and the highlight of my career. The team is in great hands with Aaron. He has my full support and confidence. Thank you to everyone. And then Michael Condry said, We founded Sledgehammer Games to bring together a world-class development team with a singular goal of delivering excellence for fans. Over the course of nearly a decade, Glenn and I proudly grew the studio and watched a new crop of leaders emerge within the team. On a personal level, I'm deeply grateful to the men and women who have poured their passion into the pursuit of excellence with us. I'm proud of what we accomplished together. It has been the greatest experience in my professional life. I'm looking forward to starting a new chapter of my career with Activision. I couldn't be more excited for the future of Sledgehammer Games and look forward to seeing Aaron lead the studio to new heights. So, um, they're going to be working on not just Call of Duty, but other things at Activision too. So, a lot of people are like, please don't have them have anything to do with like Black Ops 4 because a lot of people are kind of torn on World War 2. They say it was a bad game and... It's also kind of curious that, like, Michael Condry was on Reddit and he was on social media, like, com like communicating a lot with the community and just talking a lot and, like, really being really just great talking with the community and answering fan questions and stuff like that before the Resistance DLC came out. And then it seems that as soon as it came out, then he just stopped talking about it. So people are like, oh, 
come on, the reason he did that was just to hype up the DLC. The people are like, oh man, yeah, the developers are actually talking to us? Yeah, cool, I'll buy the DLC. And then after the DLC stopped talking, and I mean, it makes sense because now we found out that they've left Sledgehammer and now they've joined Activision. So obviously this wasn't just like a one day thing. This has probably been in the works for, you know, at least the past like month, maybe two where they, you know, Activision saw the success of World War II because World War II is the best-selling Call of Duty game of this generation, which is kind of crazy to me to think that it beat Ghosts on Xbox One and PS4, it beat Advanced Warfare, it beat Black Ops 3, it beat Infinite Warfare, and it beat Modern Warfare Remastered. So, I don't know, it's kind of cool, um, but Activision said it was, like, I guess a good enough thing that they did it, so they put them up into Activision instead of just being at their own studio with Sledgehammer Games. So these guys are no longer part of Sledgehammer Games. They're with Activision now. So now we have new guys working at Sledgehammer Games. Well, I guess not really new, but we have a new um, lead at Sledgehammer Games rather than Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield. But, yeah, it's kind of crazy to me that, you know, like we just have two studio heads just boom, leave and go to Activision. Like Treyarch never did this. Treyarch is just always – I mean, they Treyarch has like shifted their – like studio around a little bit with positions and stuff but none of them left and went to activision or you know stuff like that but yeah i don't know it's just kind of weird um who knows what this will mean for the future of call of duty um for any new news and everything on call of duty and all this stuff be sure to subscribe to my channel and check back for more videos and yeah there you guys go thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video